Hello everyone, it's Bella here. I hope you're all well. I've carried on uh, working on my cover, so I'll just recap everything that I've done so that you, you'll have caught up with me. And um, here she is. So I'm not sure where I finished on the last one, but anyway, um, I put in the eyelets. I think I mentioned that, but I'm not sure. So they're all in nicely and they match up lovely with the with the green. And I've done the corners. So I don't know whether you can see the corners. Here, here, and here. And I think these are the best corners I have ever ever used. Um, I don't know whether you can see them. I'll, I'll hold them up. Let me stand up a minute. Uh, Tim Holtz. Um, there's a the number, I think. But they've got, you, you can actually bend the, the corners back here, look. So what I've used, I've used PVA and I've put the PVA. Let me get one out and I can show you, that'll be the best. Bear with me, I hate these things. They all fly everywhere, don't they? There they are. Ooh, lovely. So I got my PVA, as I have been doing, sorry. And taken one of these. Got my PVA, dipped in the PVA, and just painted inside here. All right. Put them on the edge of there with the glue like that, and then bent it over. They bend ever so easily. They're not they're not hard to bend at all. So you'll find those really easy. There's three different colours, and I've chosen the middle one because I thought they went well with um, with the green. So I don't know whether you can see it at all. So I think that's a kind of bronzy green. It's, it's a beautiful colour. So that's what I've done on the four corners, okay? So that's that. And don't forget to glue them on and then they'll stay on. And, and the um, PVA worked br uh, brilliantly. So no problem at all with the PVA. I'm really pleased with that. So what I've done in um, in this one, I put the papers in. This is the, the art one. I put some, what have I done with it? Some of these have got petals in and uh, I think it's handmade paper. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, flower petal paper, decal edge, nude, it says on there. Can you see? All right, so that's that and that's, that's thinner than the, um, there's a few sheets there, as you can see. So that, but that's thinner than the watercolour paper, which is in this pad, which I bought a couple of these. I gave one to my grandson, he loves it. I haven't done any painting in it yet, mine, but I have put them in journals. And they're really thick, but that is the, uh, the best paper you can buy. Okay, so I've been buying them in this little pad. So I've torn those out and they've gone in here. And in here, so I've got two, so there's four of those, four of the petal papers, and I've got lots of uh, different kinds of paper. That's mixed media. I think I've said this to you before. Okay. So there we go, that's all done. Put them in there. That's still got to be decorated yet. So, so what we're doing today, um, I did uh, put the signatures in but Rachel said I had to take it all apart and do it again so you can see so I'm ever trying to please isn't it funny when you get things you, you start off with them the same length and they never stay the same length why is that that's crackers anyway this is how I did it so I put a knot in that end I decided to go, no, I've got to think now. See, when you're on camera, it's very difficult. I think that's right. Yeah. That's right. That stays down there like so. Keep the two ends together until you finish. That goes through that one. There. I put two together because this uh, elastic that I bought it's quite thin, so I thought, well, this is going to get a lot of use, hopefully. So I'm, I've doubled it up. All right, so I bought that on Amazon somewhere. Just type in elastic 
thin elastic and you'll find it. There we go. Back through there. Back through there. Keeping the two together. All right. Let me check you can see. Oops, sorry. Yes. Now I need to make sure that there, that one is, um, now is that funny? I'm going to work out now which one is the long one. Worked fine when I did it myself. <laughs> there we go. Rachel's fault for telling me to take it apart, but there we are. Okay. I'm going to chop that bit off because it's annoying me. And then they'll be the same length. Okay. Oh, I like my little hammer. My husband bought me a little anvil and a hammer for when these don't go down properly. I just, I just bang them down like that. And I just gently tap those down to make sure they were flat as well. So that's cute, isn't it? And what I did with this, you've really got to pull these. So you think you're wasting a lot of elastic, but it can't be helped. You can tie them in the middle if you want to. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to make another knot here so they stay together. There we go, like that. And then give them both a good yank like that. Keep pulling. I'm just going to put a knot in it for now because I don't really know whether it's um, tight enough yet. I'll get my husband to help me later. It's always easier when you've got two hands or four hands even. Okay, I'm going to leave those at the bottom like that for now because I'm not sure if I'm going to um, put charms on the end or what. So you've got your elastic like this. You've got your signatures, however big they are. Oh, this is nice and tight. That's good. Make sure they go in the crease and then they should sit nicely then. Okay, that's the one. Push it over into the crease in the middle. Let's put our art one in. I've been dreading doing this on camera, but there we are. We've managed. Fabulous. So, all done. So we're all ready now to dress it up, finish off putting all the ephemera in and putting a nice cover on there. I still haven't made my mind up whether I'll put a pocket on there because I was worrying about covering up this lovely autumn or paper of, um, I've forgotten her name now. Oh, Edith Holden. And um, there we go. So, still not sure what I'll use as a, a tie for this. So, if you've got any ideas, let me know. Okay, so there she is, all nicely in. You've got no strings down here, look. And it's all nicely tied down there. So, you can either just cut it off, tie it in a bow, let it hang, do whatever you like. You can do it however you want. And they're quite secure. You've just got to make sure everything is pushed into that fold there, look. And I think it is better with the, with the double um, elastic. And you can always add things in one or the other, can't you? All right. So that's today's video. I'm sorry it's short, but um, Rachel asked me to do it, so I've done it. So have a go. It's great fun. And um, I forgot to tell you that this material is absolutely beautiful and it is in our Etsy shop. So. Rachel said, Mum, I said I didn't even know. So there you go. It is lovely, mine, isn't it? So there we are. You can't beat the Amazon um, covers, can you? It's really sturdy now. And that will take quite a bit of bashing in your handbag or in your uh, art bag or something. Just throw it in. And I think that would last quite a while. Okay, so... 
look forward to doing the next installment with you. Take care and thank you again for all your lovely comments and stay well. God bless.